Well, that was a heartbreaker. Anyway, let's get on with this review. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Drew Benner known as KEQ99, and yes, I'm back with another video. And in this video, it is the KU review of KU versus Texas Tech. And unfortunately, the Jayhawks fell short to beating the Texas Tech Red Raiders by a final score of 16 to 13. For those of you who do not know, I get positives and negatives about the game. I give a player of the game on the offensive de defensive side of the ball and a player who needs to improve on both sides of the ball. So without further ado, let's get into it. So let's start with the positives in this game. And one of them that just came to my mind, we beat the spread by a landslide. Uh, the line was Texas Tech by 26 and a half. And we only lost by three. Yeah, no one saw this coming. Let's see. Um, our run game was a lot better than last, uh, like last week. Uh, we ran for 112 yards this time. Uh, time of possession, we had it more often. Less penalties than Texas Tech did. And we forced four turnovers in this game. Three fumbles and one interception. I'm so proud that these guys were this close to winning the game and it just didn't happen, but that was my big takeaways from it. Negatives in this game. Again, with the run game, they had 293 rushing yards in this game. Uh, we let them convert both of their fourth down uh, plays. We didn't convert on third down nor fourth. Um, we punted the ball way too many times. We didn't throw for over 150 yards. We only got 214 total yards and 13 total points, which again, 16 to 13, but still we need to start scoring points. Player of the game on the offensive side of the ball, I'm gonna give it to Daniel Highshaw with 22 carries, 87 yards, and the game's only touchdown for the Jayhawks, averaging four yards a carry. Uh, Luke Grimm had a good game, six catches for 41, but it was not enough to, like, suit my boat. On the defensive side, I am going to give it to Karan Prunty. Uh, he had four tackles, an interception, a forced fumble, and I think he got a recovery, too? I can't remember, but there was a lot of them. He did really well in this game, and some pass breakups. I just loved how he played, so I'm going to give it to him. I could have also gave it to um, Jacob Porchilla, who went two for two on field goals uh, with a long of 42. But for the offensive side, I'm going to give it to Daniel Highshaw and the defensive side of the ball, Karan Parnti. People who need to improve on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, I mean, Kwame Lassiter did not have a good game. Five catches for 18 yards. Uh, that didn't that just does not suit my boat very well and for the defensive side of the ball uh, I honestly want to give it to Dijon Terry with only one total tackle for a defensive lineman That's not good. So Dijon and Kwame are my players who need to improve And that is officially gonna do it for the KE review of the Texas Tech game again the final score and a heartbreaker Texas Tech 16 Kansas 13. Leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe, and push that notification bell. Tell your friends about these videos. And I should see you again soon for the KU North Dakota State review, which should come up like the following day, or the it'll be the next video after this. But the next KU football review will be the final one, which is Kansas versus Texas. So until then, have a good day, and as always, never ever bring exotic dancers to the fieldhouse. Peace.